What is up everyone, Hurricane Liz here, and in this video we go over the top five hot new KDP releases, and I go over a mini lesson as to how you can do this in literally almost any category. Now I know a lot of people out there are usually like, Liz, why is it that you only cover the activities book section? And well, I'm gonna answer that in a heck of a lot more, and I'm super fired up because I'm imagining there's quite a few ideas here. We are a couple weeks out from Valentine's Day, so there's no telling what we're gonna find. So I'm fired up, I hope you're fired up. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, guys and girls, so here we are on my screen share. And as usual, we're gonna jump into the Amazon hot new releases. And what I usually do here is I change it up. I always jump into books. This time around, we're gonna go very broad. We're gonna look at children's books. And then I'm gonna talk about how you can literally search in just about any category to find hot new ideas. So there are a lot of hot new ideas I'm missing. I'm just kind of showing you guys the ropes as to how you go about and find your own ideas. So I really want you to look at this with an open mind and try and do this exercise yourself in whatever major categories you sell in. So I'll give you guys an example of that here at the end of this video, but let's go ahead and look at a broad view for now. So. We've got a couple of interesting ones. We got this flashlight night and it's from Elizabeth Hasselbeck and there seems to be a trend lately with celebrities on wanting children's books for one reason or another. I don't know, maybe it's because they can't write too well or oh, oh, that's my first joke. So at least I am in a funny mood today, but uh, let's see what else we find out here. At least I got one good joke in there and uh, we've seen a lot of books about dogs and stuff and ambitious girls and obviously Star Wars. And here's Jimmy Fallon. Here's another celebrity that has to write in the second grade or first grade level. So I wonder why that happens. Who knows? Let's keep going and see what else we find. So here's an interesting thing. We talked about this Kamala Harris book last time, but the one that I'm talking about is the one to the right of that. And it's an diary and it basically says thanks for always feeding me and telling me i'm beautiful and it looks to me like it is a journal but here, here's the gem the gem from all this is look at the category it's located in it's in the children's marriage and divorce books books and children's valentine day book section it is 419 in books and it is absolutely fire i'm expecting that this is possibly a journal but again, it has the keyword that we talked about in yesterday's video, which is Valentine's Day gift for him, which is scorching up the Amazon keyword charts. And if you haven't seen that video already, I do recommend you take a look at it as we talked about a lot of these keywords that a lot of people really aren't targeting. So it says, thanks for always feeding me and tell me I'm beautiful. It's an alternative greeting card. So this is a greeting card. It's not even a journal, but I can tell you this much. You could probably turn something like this into a journal for next year. Keep that in mind. I'm not necessarily sure if I like what it says, but I'm sure a lot of people it give it as a gag gift or it's kind of funny, but I don't know. It's kind of weird, right? I, I, maybe I'm maybe I'm not even looking at it from the right direction. Maybe I'm still laughing at the fact that uh, my celebrity joke was actually kind of funny. So we'll see if anybody else thinks it's funny. But let's continue to look for other gems here. I, I like this a lot. I like this Sammy the Bird. It's now do not read this book. And the reason that I like that so much is because usually when you tell people they can't do something, they want to do it. So again, try to always incorporate things like that in your journals because people will be almost drawn to them just because you say they can't can't. That's the beautiful thing about telling people they can't. So here's my first idea that I that I love and that I haven't covered and that is it's Black History Month. So I'm not sure if it was this February or if it was last month, but you guys and gals definitely want to put that in the books for next year because it's obviously too late this year, but it will make an excellent book in the future and you can really play on this one in a lot of different ways. So I would write that down for certain for next time around, but obviously it's too late, just like Valentine's Day is too late, but it's never too late to write those ideas down now so that you know absolutely what we're gonna do for next year. All right, so if we keep continuing to look around, let's see what else we see. And again, the real reason that we're doing this is to sort of get some ideas. Here's a great one that I like. It's the book of dares. And it's straight up just a book about dares. But again, this could be created and made into an activity book. It could be made into some kind of journal to dare people to reach for their dreams. And you could really incorporate and use a lot of different quotes when, when you make something like this. The first quote that comes to my mind is the quote from Muhammad Ali where is if your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. And that's exactly what this book of dares reminds me of. So I'm gonna put that in as number two, as you could really chicken wing this a lot way. And I certainly wish I could figure out how the hell to turn off people calling me and just lighting up my phone when it hasn't rang in forever. But now that I'm doing this video, of course it's ringing. So let's go ahead and continue looking. We talked about the butt being noisy and farting and how that always does extremely well. Remember, it's if somebody ain't farting, sharding, or taking a dump, then you are truly missing out on some opportunity there as 
just like I talked about the turds in space. So here's Sammy again, and man, Sammy really does a lot of shit. Like, I'm really impressed with the amount of things that Bird does on a daily basis, and again, it goes back to the point that I make. If you can create a character and get him branded and start throwing some dollars at him, at some point, that mofo is going to throw some dollars back at you. Sammy apparently does that because, as I said before, we get an alert. If Sammy takes a shit, especially if he was to take one in space, we are immediately alerted of that fact by a Kindle book being released. And guess what? Instant money because every single reader of Sammy has to have that book on their shelf, especially if Sammy sharts. If Sammy sharts in space, well, who knows who gets all the chocolate particles that come down below. So again, Always remember, brand your characters, people. That should be the biggest lesson from this entire video is brand your characters. Here we are re reminded at 49 by the Berenstein Bears that St. Patrick's Day is on the horizon. So I'm going to call that one out. I think I already have, but I just want to remind you that you have to have some kind of St. Patrick's Day merch because people will buy it. So whether it's t-shirts and or these journals or books, people that are Irish will love this and people that want to pretend that they're Irish and want to pretend that they can drink that much will also love it too. So it's fantastic. All right, let's go and see what else we got. But so far we've gotten a tremendous amount of ideas just from that little bit that we saw there. Here again at 51, I don't know, this might have been one of you guys and gals that actually listened to me, but I said in a video not too long ago, make a book about Cupid farting and here it is magically as if the heavens have provided this to me just at the snap of my finger. It's the farting Cupid don't laugh challenge. Jay Cox, whoever you are, <laughs> I almost feel like you did that on purpose, but here's a salute to you, sir or ma'am. So again, the Cupid book is awesome. I love it. Let's see if we can find anything else that stands out. Here is a Last Kids on Earth, which again goes with the theme that I've been talking about constantly, which are kids superheroes. And here is a story of John Lewis, which I'm assuming is in honor of Black History Month, which again, like I said, you can wing the Black History Month angle very many different ways, just like you can wing the Valentine's one, and just like you can wing just about anything, especially with chicken wings. Anything can be accomplished after chicken wings fly out. Uh, here we've got birds can't read. Well, at least we found out one thing Sammy can't do, that dumb bird. He's all over the place, but he certainly can do a lot of other things. He doesn't have to know how to read with the kind of bank that he's making. All right, let's see what else we can find here. Five Nights of Freddy's always been a really good book that's out there. I can't, kind of don't even have an idea what that's about. And I kind of am not even interested in looking at it because the cover just didn't catch my eye. Here's some more St. Patrick's Day love happening. And... Um, that might be it. Here's a Prince book that I don't believe is allowed by Prince to happen. But again, people are still going to put out whatever they feel like putting out. And here's another book about hugs of love. So that's it for the children's book. Now let's talk about the second topic about how you can literally go into any category and find ideas like this. So just to prove my point, instead of going to activities, crafts, and games, which is the usual section that I will go into, I want to go into something that I would never go into like education and reference. Can we find any ideas from education and reference? We're about to find that out. All right, so let's start to look and see what happens. Here again is the timelines from Black History Month. We talked about that and how that is a very good one to go into next year. You don't want to produce those this year because there's no way they're going to get out in time and therefore you're not going to really sell shit and then you'll come back to this video and you'll be super pissed that you even listened to me or found me on YouTube. So. I don't want that to happen. Here we go, a fly guy presents weird animals. So this is a really good one that we could uh, work with, but I only seen it there once. That's the first time I've been introduced to weird animals. I'm usually introduced to cuddly and likable animals, but weird ones, it could work, right? Here's another one about flower, and we've seen this ninja life hacks very many times. Here is a great one, everything you need to know when you are 10. This one's fantastic, it's 21,000 in books. This could very easily be created into an activity book and it could be created for many different ages. The only thing we have to be worried about here or concerned with is the fact that if we start loading too many of these up into Amazon, it could trigger a duplicate content and many people out there have been suspended on KDP for duplicate content books. So be very careful when you do that, make sure they're all original and or at least they have enough information in the book to make them seem original. Here's another one, great one, gems for kids. Kids are always interested in gems, especially little girls, because at a very early age, they begin to like diamonds. So guys, remember that. I see a bunch of guys not knowing what the hell to buy their girlfriends on Valentine's. Just remember that there is nothing better than a diamond. They will love you forever and ever. Here's a great first coloring book for toddler. 
And I keep seeing this Arsene Lupin. I don't actually know what that is. It's apparently a burglar. Uh, here's another one for President's Day. So that's the next one that I'm going to call it is President's Day. So anytime there is a holiday, you can almost guarantee and make a book or activity book or journal for that holiday. And who could forget President's Day? After all, I think some of us get that day off and some of us can go out drinking. So President's Day, just like Black History Month, are two pretty monumental holidays that people celebrate. And again, President's Day, the only reason people celebrate that is because we get a day off to drink. You know, at least the other one has merit. This one has none whatsoever. Other than we're just going to celebrate U.S. presidents, which uh, saved the country. I don't know if many people want to celebrate them, other than the fact we get a day to drink, right? All right, let's see what else we find. The ABC math book is kind of interesting, and it sells pretty well in books. It does extremely well, so that could be something that we could look at. Here's Kai the Butterfly. We talked about bugs being pretty much fire a few episodes back. A lot of high, highest tribute to a Supreme Court justice. Again, in celebration of Black History Month, you can almost pull any black leader and create something about them and people are going to buy it. Here's a History Smashers Pearl Harbor. So I kind of like this. You could really turn into, so we'll call this one out because here's why. You could almost turn any point in history and make an activity book or a coloring book out of it. We talked about doing this with maps. We talked about doing this with geographic locations, but now history. This one is Pearl Harbor. You could literally do this for just about any point in time, especially if you like drawing things like that. That's fantastic. Or you have an artist that likes doing such. Here's another one with another geographic location with New York City. You could hit cities in this case. So again, that's another one right there. And here's Victor Hugo book, which is kind of interesting. But again, we found plenty of ideas just being inside education and reference. And like I said before, you can literally do this by going into any section. We talked about meditation a few weeks back, but any section or any category within Amazon should be able to get you a variety of ideas. And the rule of thumb is look for at least two showing that it's popular. Like I keep seeing the presidents, right? We keep seeing Black History Month. There are some every now and then that I'll call out because I just have a, a knack for being able to tell these things. I've been doing this for over 20 years. So to me, it stands out. Here's another, please don't read this book. Sammy did it. And so does this little green goblin, whatever he is or animal does the same thing. And it makes me want to click into it to find out more. And that's the process in making the customer click on your item and then becoming more interested by what you have inside the listing. Here's a spy like a narwhal, which is very popular. This is pretty interesting too. My first 100 construction words. So again, this is a whole theme that you can do. In this case, they chose construction. So I'm going to call this one out. Picking 100 first words for any particular theme. And in this case, they chose the world of construction because little boys like this kind of idea. But you could put my first 100 fireman words, my first 100 police words. You could do a whole line of series on these. And guess what? Kids are going to want them and parents will buy them. So just be creative. Think about what people or kids are interested in and then put them into a theme book that talks about 100 words. So I would click into this. I would even look at the first pages. I'd be interested exactly what they were doing and I potentially might buy this if I was to go forward with my idea that I just gave you. Here's another butterfly and bug book. And here's again Arsene Lupin who I'm not exactly sure who he is. Now I'm very curious because I've seen about three books on him. And I really want to know, here's another president's book, which is, again, not surprising, a Chinese grammar book and a kaleidoscope of creatures, which I like the way they worded that. Dinosaur names with pictures. I love this because dinosaurs are hot. And this is a Kindle book. So this could still be made into a coloring book or something of that nature. So again, I like this. I like turning this idea into coloring book, just changing the name out. There could be no trademark on this. And I would go for something very similar with this. Uh, no dream too big. And here's a book about funguses. I could literally people, there's so much shit we could make books about. Uh, you could potentially even make a stoner coloring book with the types of marijuana and then describe these marijuanas to people, put a whole page on the information about that. And stoners would love to buy this shit because then they will have a bucket list of marijuana to try. So again, just use your mind and see how it kind of relates to different things. Cat Casey turns brownies into a business. I wonder what kind of brownies those are speaking of stoners, right? Go way to go, Cat Casey. I love it. So good job. Salute to you. I would want to taste those brownies for sure. Uh, we got the tiger in space, Lulu the tiger in space. 
if only she made a turd, we'd have a party, right? So again, this is the kind of shit that I was reading when I was little. Got these little side golden book things and they didn't have good stuff like you guys read nowadays. Like, you remember when I used to read this? Yes, I do. Here we got Horse Powers, How Horses Change the World, which gives, gives me a fantastic idea. You could do an entire book out of breeds of horses. And again, going into that niche of expanding upon where there's many multiple things. You could do a dog book breeds. You could do a cat breed book. You could do a lot of different things. There's so many ideas out there that you can really go for. Here's a Supremes book in honor of Black History Month. And I think that's about wrap it up. I think we came up with so many ideas that I gave you guys a little too much today. And you might be potentially overwhelmed, but don't be. I've seen all sorts of animals in space. If only I saw a turd out there, it would make me damn proud. So again, thanks so much for listening to me babble and ramble about the ideas that I have or the ideas that these things generate for me. I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. And if you have any questions in your comments, post them below. I always personally answer them. Get out there and get some shit done.